Hey, what's up, my peeps? Boy, my hands are freezing. I just finished watching my video from Dave Lee. Thank you so much. And I'm going to jump right into our uh, topics right now um, and what we need to focus on for the week and what to be looking out for. Um, so get your paper and pencil or whatever you got to use to write because we are going into it right now. There's massive news. The stock market's going to be higher this week. Um, you know, where am I? Sorry. Uh, this is going to be on nano dimensions, ticker symbol NNDM. Um, this could be a massive, uh, SPAC. What happened uh, and the best stocks to buy right now and some updates. That's kind of what I'm going to go over in a nutshell. I know I'm kind of not all over the place. I'm cold. As, uh, so what happened with Nano Dimensions? All right. So it was $8.15 and it broke out up to $10.40. And then it, let me see. And then it dropped. Exactly. So it had a massive breakout and it went up to $10 and 30 cents. I'm looking at it right now on the 23rd. And then as I told you guys before, remember nano dimensions, they're all about capitalization and dilution. So they capitalize, they raise a lot of money. They'll raise money themselves. They've got too much. They've got so much money. It's retarded or it's ridiculous. I shouldn't say that word. Um, it went up to $10.30, which is a lot for now. I remember when it was $3.50. That won't ever happen again. However, it's now on a big pullback. And so pullbacks are great because that's buying it on the dip, right? And so it's down to $8.40 now with a little bit of... Uh, a, you know, it went down seven, about seven and a half percent, and it went up a little over three percent in the after hours. So that was kind of like a, you know, start the clock started already. So, um, of it potentially going back up again, nano dimensions. However, it's a tricky situation because this is a really choppy stock. It's always volatile it's never stable i mean there is a graph and it's going up but it is choppy because they're constantly diluting it with money to push the stock price down kind of like what elon musk probably does to tesla to confuse us but let's not we're a different subject um that's what happens in this stock so be careful all right i'm telling you be careful ARK Invest is, you know, the person that I, you know, use a lot of my information off of is uh, Kathy Woods. They're heavily invested into this stock. They got in at a good time when it was much, much cheaper. Um, but they raised a lot of money and they say that they're going to, you know, hire more employers for their company and good things. And, you know, who knows? Um, the next stock that we're going to talk about is ticker symbol G-O-E-V. We've been over this before. It's called Canoe. And you basically rent a car, drive it off, stop it, leave it, go somewhere. Someone gets the car, but you just rent the car. Um, and it deals with car rentals. And basically they had another breakout and we'll go look into them now. This is my uh, editing platform. And so it's a joke, it's a terrible joke. Dang it, wow. So Canoe went up to $22. They're freaking, December 10th, they were at $22. And ever since that date, they've been going down from 22 all the way down to $15.63. You can look at, I'm looking at the one week right now. And you go to the one day and it's down. 
And then there's a little after hours push. It went down 13%, 13 13.59, $2.42. It went down that much. And then after hours went up a dollar or went up uh, 1.5%, which is basically 25 cents. Uh, and so this now canoe, this is a really, this is, okay. I remembered something right now. This is something really good to pay attention to. It went up to $24. As high was $24.90. That's the highest it got. And then it went down to $18 and 20 cents. And now it then, uh, I can't show you my, my notes, but um, I'm going to tell you the best buy time right now. And if you can get in at uh, right now, or if it gets lower, like to $13, if this drops more tomorrow, and in the like right before the stock market closes, it's like at $13.50, get this move, get it, because it's going to go back up. It just had its... Uh, acquisition with whatever company it was gonna i talked about a video and told you guys about it previously but it did its acquisition and it made its spike and now it it went on its dip and now it's on its rebound so it's a great time to get into it um the next stock we're going to talk about we just went over actually very rarely very briefly but it was those bitcoin stocks they broke out today uh Ticker symbol M-A-R-A, -A, ticker symbol C-A-N, and ticker symbol M-S-T-R. They all did very well today. Um, uh, two of them are semi-affordable. Uh, the other one's like $300. It went up to $370. It, it went up like $45 this last one. You're still watching. I'm going to talk about another stock. And there's rumors about an acquisition. This is this talk. Now, uh, this is another stock I want to tell you guys. I'm so sorry I'm like, like this, but I know you'll love me later. And I'm like the Kramer of, uh, oh, wow. So, jeez. Okay. So, next one, ticker symbol BTWN, Bridgetown Motors. And they are gonna, in rumors, about to have an acquisition this week, possibly tomorrow. So, um, they've been last this whole week, last last five days, they've gone up twenty percent, which is two dollars and eighty-seven cents. They're seventeen dollars and thirty-eight cents right now. Um, today, they kind of consolidated. They they went up. They went up to like 1844 and then it went back down to 17 1720 and it stopped at 1750 and now we're at 1738 so it's still on a down um what Bridgetown Motors or what Bridgetown Bridgetown rumors just with Amazon Okay, so it's not Motors Company. It's just called Bridgetown. I'm getting it confused with something else. But basically, there's rumors of an acquisition with the Amazon of Indonesia coming out at any moment. So this whole week, this whole week of going up, Bridgetown, this this came out December 17th, the stock, all right? The, I mean the 7th, December 7th. And it immediately went from $23 to $11.15. And then now we're going up now, on our way up. So that's why I'm saying it's a good time to buy it now. And what's going to happen, like I said, with these acquisitions is they... This Amazon... There's no way Bridgetown will get this. Amazon will buy out Bridgetown and Bridgetown will go away. However, this is a moment where you can swing trade this stock and make some side money because Bridgetown will most likely go up tomorrow 
and possibly then the rest of the week and you can make some quick money that way. So uh, food for thought, I'd check it out, check out the graph. It looks very interesting right now. And the other stock we're gonna talk about is Jiminya. I watched this stock, I was so, I was trading the stock around, or I mean, I don't wanna say I was, but I saw somebody else trading the stock around, what, $13. It went down to $8 at one time, and then it slowly started going back as the seasons. Uh, I didn't know Jiminya is the Amazon of Africa. That's what it is. Jiminya is the Amazon of Africa. And there's rumors about Amazon. There's rumors about both of these uh, countries having an acquisition with Amazon. And it, when that does happen, both of these stocks will go down and go away. And they won't be around anymore. And Amazon will take over because it's a corporation and it's a conglomerate. But for the meantime, it would be highly, highly suggestive to check it out. Jiminya is expensive. Now it's in the $40, $43, but there's still maybe like another $7 to grow before something happens. But keep them on your, keep all of these stocks I talked to you today about on your watch list. And uh, just, you know, if you got time and we got, and you're not working, just watch that freaking stock market and have a handful of stocks. But do not have too many. All right, big mistake. Tucker made a big one. I have way, I had, there's just too many of on, a, on a portfolio. You cannot keep track of all of them. It's just too much news and information and dates and day times to stay on top of. 10 at the most. If you can get it to 10, then just keep it at that. I like take it from someone that's learned his lesson way too many times and it gets beaten down and then has to relearn it. So just try it out. Cause I know I'm, I, and for me, I tell you all these different stocks to check out and, and they all have made money off. They've all done well, whether you bought them or not. And it's like, which one do I get? What, what, which one do I choose? Cause it's, it's like, it's like a whole, you can't have all the Pokemons in the world. Like, uh, genius chick of mm, Singapore guy says, but whatever. Anyways, uh, happy holidays, everybody. Um, thank you for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. You know, it's cool. It's really fun to see um, the viewers go up and the fellow subscriber list go up. And thank you for telling people about Tuck Notes. Appreciate it. Um, it means a lot to me. And um, uh, you can check me out on Instagram at TuckerMLO and my blog at hashtag Tuck's blog. I hope you guys have a great night or a great morning, and we'll talk tomorrow. Late. Keep your eye out for the stimulus package, too. All right, that is happening, and when will it affect the stock market? Because it will, and you'll see a bump. Maybe that's what the Santa Claus rally is. <laughs>